Hello, hello, hello. Hey, hey, hey. You too. What's going on? What's goody? Okay. I am straight like that. Back again with another straight like that. We here to talk about uh your girl, Livia. The 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 one that's oblivious to everything going on in her life. Oh child, it was really, really hard for me to do this video because I do not like Olivia. Honestly, I have a vendetta with Olivia. I don't like her. First off, okay? But, anywho, hope y'all enjoyed this video, child. It's chopped and screwed per usual. Um, Please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. And let's get into this video. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on on that. Hold on, hold on. Now, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm not going to say that. Right. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Because, hold, anyway. Anyway, this is, anyway, now, hold on. The girls who don't need no man. This is for all the girls around the world. This is for the I hate that her and Jasmine both do this same shit. They go live. They start their videos off. They all over the place. They're never in front of the camera, you know, ready to go. They got to fumble around. They got to touch shit, open up this, close this, do that, move this out the way. They got to do all this here shit before they start getting to the point. Like, why are we here? We don't, we don't want to see you doing all that. I'm not going to be out here very long. Not long at all. He was another depressing ass bitch. She live a depressing ass life too. She get on in front of the camera and she cap like she living her best life. Olivia ain't got nothing going on either. Cause this is all she know how to do is go to the store, pull up to the store, pull up to the store. Every day, saying like her and her mama go to the store. They need something from the store. Like they don't never have everything they need. Why is she in the parking lot at night? It's at nighttime. You can look in the tail. It's in the nighttime. She, she had a light on and I got them car at first. This, is, this girl kills me with do, going live in her car at night. Like, girl, take your ass home. You got a damn newborn baby at home. Go home. Tend to your kids. Go play with AJ. Do something with yourself. Dang. I'm at the store. I'm about to go in the store. But... I just wanted to come and talk to you guys for a minute. Go ahead and hit that like button. Hope you guys are having a great night, day, wherever you're at in the world. For somebody that says that their channel is demonetized, why is it she always get on live? She's always requesting that like, hit the like, hit the like button. If you're, if you're demonetized, why would you worry about it? them keep hitting the like button you want them to keep liking the video so they can keep you know paying you you know for your commentary and to be honest with you you really don't even be doing shit you just like jasmine you just like wine glass these hoes literally get on the internet and don't do shit they don't do shit for entertainment they don't do Shit with the content. The content is trash, low vibrational, a hot ass mess. And you get you demonetize and you wasting your precious life and time to make a video and don't get paid for it. Okay, Olivia. What's this meeting for? You'll see. Who we got to slap? Your damn self. I'm just lying. <laughs> no. Mm. No, I just wanted to come on here and tell y'all that y'all beautiful and y'all are amazing. And I hope you guys believe in yourself as much as I believe in y'all. 
Girl, tell me how do you believe in somebody you don't even know. Girl, you don't know none of them people you talking to on that internet. Girl, you ain't got no friends. You ain't got no substance. You ain't got nothing going on in your life to be sitting there telling motherfuckers what you... <laughs> what? How you proud of some people you don't even know shit about, Olivia? Be proud of your kids. Are you telling your kids you proud of them for how well they doing in school and, you know, how they functioning, you know, on the outside of school for us, you know, what they, you know, other, you know, entertainment that they into, activities or whatnot. Do you ever, you know, big up your kids on shit like that? Girl, this lady here, psychopathic. For real. Um... You know, we're all growing up. We're all learning our lessons. We're all learning different lessons in different parts of our life. Are you learning any lessons, Olivia? Because for us on the outside looking in, since you're not learning no lessons, so why are you always talking about lessons? And you do not understand and abide by none of them. They should know. I actually have super good skin. And shout out to my mama and my daddy. Um, but yeah. I don't have rosacea or like eczema or just like anything crazy. I'm just pink, y'all. I get pink sometimes. It's called being half white. <laughs> keep your head up, get your shit together, and keep fucking moving, okay? And don't let nobody bring you down. Girl, because the baddest you are, the more haters you gonna have, okay? That's just how... It... <laughs> the baddest you are, the more haters you gonna have, okay, girl? Like... And guess what? You're not bad. You're, you're not a bad one, sis. Sorry. Let them haters do something with themselves. They ain't got shit else to do. They ain't got no else, no other way to make money. So let them do their, let them do their big one. Bingo. She definitely doing her big one. That's why she just said what she said. And uh, that's, this is what makes her money. This little bullshit ass content that she's giving. Her little views and she, what the little views that she gets gets her some money. She been doing a lot of sponsorships, so yeah, mm hmm. She getting a coin. She can get on the internet and cry wolf all day long talking about she demonetized and she ain't making no money. She ain't got no job and other motherfuckers take care of her and her uh, children. No, no. Olivia is lying. Olivia be spending money like a motherfucker. And if you be watching her channel, you'll see that this bitch be spending money. They go in Costco's. Costco's is not cheap. Um, They go to the store damn near every damn day. She's constantly getting something from fucking Amazon. Always ordering shit. Always getting something. Always opening some package. Always doing. She's always doing something. Yeah, she getting paid. She wouldn't be doing all that shit. She definitely wouldn't be putting no videos no every motherfucking day if she wasn't getting no money. You have been through it and you never given up. No, I'll never give up. I'll never give up. I'm going to keep doing it. I'm going to keep doing my big one. I have so much in store for y'all. Baby, you can save them lives for a bitch that want to hear them. For a bitch that's going to believe them. But like I said, I'm going to tell... I'm going to tell it when I want to tell it. You feel me? Oh, my goodness. You guys are, like, so annoying. <laughs> my haters are so annoying. Like, y'all really need to find something to do. Bitch, I'm dying. We are too happy and too positive over here. And I love you, ladies. Stay positive. Like I said before, I said this in a, in a um, community post. Do the best that you can do and the rest will follow, okay? And I'm living proof of that. So just do your best, y'all. Anytime you run into something, run into a jam, you feel like the world, still get up and do your big one, okay? Do the best that you could do. And that's all that matters. Okay, I'm gonna skip over to the last video that I... Uh actually watched of olivia's when uh she was t discussing her whole going to jail debacle okay so that video that this first video was her sitting in her car talking to her supporters about a whole lot of nothing so we're gonna move on from that and move on over here to her with this possibility of going to jail child hey y'all what's up it's your girl Liv, and i'm back for another video so i got baby Say hi, mama. 
Say hi. See, I'm becoming a big girl, y'all. Look at me grow. Watch me grow. Okay. You big girl, mama? Look how she's just staring at the camera. <laughs> anyway, what's up, y'all? So, I'm sitting here. It is a day before I go to court. I go to court in the morning. And, yeah, I'm just, like, mentally preparing myself. I hate, hate going to court <laughs> because it's, like, it's just awful. I just hate it. But don't you know that you're the reason why you going to court back and forth to court? Because it's been three years now, and Gerard seemed like he's settled in with the kids. And, uh, you know, him and his uh, fiance over there seem like they live in, like, a, you know, happy, normal uh, household, you know, with parents and children in there. Um, Olivia just in La La Land and just, she just lives rent-free over there. You know what I'm saying? Like. This lady is crazy. Girl, it, you the reason why y'all keep going back and forth to court. You're not paying your child support, ma'am. You don't comply with nothing. You didn't even comply with what they was asking you to do when this whole situation kicked off about, you know, the kids, you know, getting taken from you. And you do not know how to let that part of your life go and move on. It's been three years and it's going to keep on uh, passing by because time is not waiting on no goddamn body. So, my question to her is, okay, wh what kind of moves you trying to make towards, you know, ever getting custody of them kids back? You know, or is this, you know, him having these children, is it permanent? You know, what's really good? But I have to do it. So, I'm going in tomorrow in the morning. And let's just talk about the bad stuff. Let's get that on out the way. So, what does going to court look like for me? As you guys know, oh, bless you. As you guys know, I have my kids. <sighs> blah, blah, blah. We were, we, this is, we've been talking about this a million times, but um, I'm ordered to pay child support. As everybody knows and loves to rub in my face. <laughs> no, they don't. Your business is on the internet. Everything you did in your relationships with all the men, your husband included, everybody all your shit is on the internet that's what this is about i'm not making money okay here's the messed up part about it if y'all ain't never met a liar in your damn life baby olivia johnson is a, the biggest liar on the internet this lady knows she can lie who lies about being demonetized on youtube man why do you feel like you gotta lie about I don't get no money just to keep from paying the child support that takes care of your children. You know, you don't have them in your custody. You lost that right. So you have to pay the person that's, you know, taking care of the children. You have to help them out financially. And Liv don't want to do that. Liv want to avoid that part of her life and just keeping her keep going on in her life like ain't nothing going on. That's the kind of lifestyle she live. She in in her mind ain't nothing going on. Her life is perfect, but all in the same breath, she's sitting over here thousands and thousands of dollars behind the child support. Make that shit make sense. I had my kids their whole entire life. Um he was in and out. He was mostly in than out, I will say that, but he was in and out and I always held down the financial part of it. I mean, not always by myself, but... She trying to figure out a way to make herself sound like she talking with some smart sense, but she sounds stupid. One minute you saying that he in there and then he ain't he ain't there. You no, know, you going around circles with your answers, like, you know, you hesitant to, you know, say what you need to say. Girl. Is giving the Lulu at this point because it seemed like you just making up shit as you going along. When he would go or come back or whatever he would do, I always did that, okay? Before they left me, I was holding it down, period. So they take my kids away from me. <laughs> this is this is the cycle that it happened in, and it's funny because it's just it's crazy, right? 
Okay, so when you're going to take accountability that you did not get your kids taken away, you lost your kids due to lack of, you know, communicating or basically, you know, doing what you were uh, ordered to do. So, you know, that's, you know, end results is, you know, you didn't comply and then you lost uh, your custody rights and, and, now you you know it's going on what is three years now and you still on the same page everybody then moved on and elevated you still stuck back there wondering why no life is going on and life is life and why you sitting here bullshitting and i do feel like if you had the money your motherfucking ass should have been paying your child support that way your ass would not be as far behind as you is at least it would show you at least give some type of fucks about your kids because at this point it's a uh it's a hell no for me. You don't give a fuck about them kids. Now we take care of our kids. Stand ten oh. toes down for our kids. But one thing's for certain. Hey, hey, man, hey, fuck them kids. Hey. Fuck them kids. Fuck them kids. Man, fuck they take my kids away from me and then order me to pay child support. At the same time, my ex, his girlfriend, people get on social media, defame my character. Court records leak. Everyone makes fun of me because I don't have my kids. Girl, you need to shut up because I don't even know what the fuck you talking about at this point. Talking about your shit got leaked. Girl, your court stuff did not get leaked. Your court stuff was really public. Anybody can see it. The fuck is she talking about? Olivia just be talking out the side of her ass. She don't even be knowing what she be saying. She just be running her motherfucking mouth. Anyway, the end result is my channel gets demonetized. And I'm no longer making money. It's kind of like... Yo, my kids are taken from me and then I'm ordered to, to, to pay child support. But I've always taken care of my kids. Anyway. So... A lot of child support has been paid. But a lot of it hasn't been paid as well. Because like I said, I've moved so many times trying to get be close to my kids you know the cold part about this video she really didn't even have to make this dumb ass shit girl people already know you know what to expect in your life and how stuff gonna go and Livy getting up here with this bullshit ass bullshit ass content and trying to pull on people heartstrings like she's not this horrible mother what audience do she think she talking to a brand new audience girl you talking to the same people that been following your ass for years this like people know how you are people know what you're gonna do and it's sad you on the internet and people can figure you out just by looking at the little fucked up shit that you be doing Olivia is a piece of work. I'm not even going to hold you, boy. She is a piece of work. And this video is absolute trash. I do believe she clickbaited the fuck out this video. You know, Olivia knew damn well she wasn't going to jail. She already knew damn well what was going to happen when she went into, you know, courthouse. You know, because this video was, you know, already, you know, put out. She had already been to court and got out and shit. You know what I'm saying? Man, you know, got out of court or whatever. But, um... She just really be thinking she be really putting on, just like she put on with the baby daddy coming to her house with the police. That shit was, you know, fucked up. Her asking about what should she wear on a date and all this whole extra bullshit. All it was just a bunch of clickbait. She was just trying to have uh some give people something to talk about because she know they be talking about her motherfucking asses. All, anything that she do. On her channel, she already know people going to talk about it, and she just put that type of shit up. That's all it is with Olivia. Olivia is just a repeating motherfucking cycle. And it's just a lot of money has been spent. And on top of that, I'm not making any money. I haven't been making money for a while now. The lie detective determined that was a lie. And the people who take care of, you know, my kids and I, a.k.a. her daddy, and see how she just be throwing her little shit out there. She be she be giving up the tea on the cool. Now why she just see what sat right there and said her daddy. She did not say their daddy. She said her daddy, meaning Kalani's daddy on his you know, by himself. Um, which, you know, she 
try to convince people that her last two kids have the same father, which is not true. I don't believe it. I believe Olivia do not know who them children daddy is. Mike know who uh AJ daddy is, but Olivia probably don't know who that little girl daddy is. She just going to keep milking that little storyline till she can't milk it no more. And she thinks she got motherfuckers convinced. But girl, by everybody I already know, ain't nobody stupid and dumb. You just ain't smart enough, big dummy. He's not going to pay my child support. My mother is not going to pay my child support. People around me are not going to pay my child support. That's not their responsibility. It's mine, right? You know the fuck what? <laughs> so if I'm not making money, how am I going to pay it? Girl, if you don't... <laughs> Get your dumb retorted ass up out of here with that bullshit at your big age. Shit, want somebody to keep taking care of you. Girl, get up off your ass and get your shit together and take care of your own damn self. You still got a young life in you. Better use it while you can, sis, because you already lazy at a young age. I would hate to see your ass when you get old. Anyway, like I said, a lot of it has been paid. It's not that I don't want to pay it. It's that I cannot pay it. So, anyway, um... I'm trying to figure out why she can't pay it. Now, she got help. She got a support system because she, she keep moving back and forth to Florida to Texas, Florida to Texas. So that shit ain't cheap. And it ain't been long ago her ass had moved to Florida. And then she popped up, took her ass back to Texas out the clear blue sky. But uh, it took money for her to move her shit and move to Texas and get another place and all that shit. And then you see she went purchase a vehicle as well and paid cash for it. So I'm not understanding. You could sit up here crying wolf talking about you don't work and you ain't making no motherfucking money, but you are able to do all these things. I'm not understanding it, ma'am. You, it, It's funny that you may want to make sure that Gerard paid child support for the kids when you had them in your custody. Now that the shoe is on the other foot, you feel like you shouldn't have to do it just because, what, you're a female? No, it doesn't matter, male or female. If you're not taking care of your financial responsibility of your children and somebody is taking care of them, I feel like it's only fair that you pay child support. If you're not in the child's life, helping it, building it, and you know, helping it grow and make sure they have everything they need, yeah, you need to be helping out, sis. She, you, ain't, you ain't doing nothing else with your time. Yeah. So that's not why that's not the reason I'm going to court tomorrow. I'm going for other things that will be heard as well, the child support stuff. But this bitch lying, what the fuck else she going back and forth to court for? She ain't going to court for nothing else. Liar. But it's funny how on social media I'm a deadbeat mom, but I've always taken care of my kids. It's you guys have never seen me not take care of my kids. Not being able to pay a court ordered child support because I'm not making money anymore is very different from being a deadbeat parent. A deadbeat parent runs from their obligations, doesn't want anything to do with the kids, don't want to deal with their kids. I've always had my kids. My kids were taken away from me. Jasmine, you a big ass motherfucking liar. Girl, why don't when are you gonna just stop saying that shit? Them kids was not taken from you, ma'am. They were not. You had opportunity to keep your kids in your custody, but you didn't. You know, maybe you shouldn't have did the dumb ass shit that you did to get them took from your ass. That's on you. And then look at all the foul shit you did to them kids' daddy when he just wanted to see his children when you didn't want him to. Girl, you is crazy. Now you sitting up here on this couch telling this old stupid ass motherfucking story to your supporters that they dumb ass, they already know you fucking lying. They just sit there and egg you on with the bullshit. It just kills me how they sit up and they entertain her. They be in her fucking chats entertaining the shit out of her. Praising this bitch and everything. Olivia don't need no praise. To be honest with you, she need to go do, serve some time. Shit, it's been three years. You ain't seen her make not one effort and talk about or discuss getting them kids back in her motherfucking custody or how she gonna figure that shit out. She ain't did none of that. All she still stuck on the same shit. Draw did this, draw did that, draw took my kids and draw this and 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 talking your little shit, but Gerard is taking care of his motherfucking business and he's taking care of his kids with a woman. He got a whole family over there. Nigga got a team. You ain't got nothing but stellar motherfucking ass. 
She coddling your ass and you using the shit out of her. Period. Against my will. So, you know? And then on top of it, my ex wants child support from me, but he pretty much went to my job and got me fired. You know, he played a part in me being demonetized. So, it's just... It's just, I don't know. It's very narcissistic. It's very gaslighty. The way people are like, you're a deadbeat. No, I'm not. Technically, by law, sis, you are a deadbeat. You a bitch that do not financially help provide anything for your goddamn children. You get, super, I mean, you get, what, visits every other week. That's all you do. You don't participate in anything else the kids got going on, their extracurricular activities, they schooling. You don't go up to their school to have lunch with them. You don't surprise them. You don't do nothing. You don't never go buy your kids nothing major or nothing nice. You go to the dollar stores or the savings store so uh miss me with the bullshit sis i'm not a deadbeat and that's like so sick to me that people would even say that to me when i've literally taken care of my kids shoveled out thousands upon thousands upon thousands for my babies look i ain't saying it got nothing to do with no motherfucking money but uh why is she saying she didn't shovel out thousands of thousands of dollars trying to prove to us that she love her kids and she took care of her kids bitch you took care of your kids because that's what you were supposed to do you they fucking mama those are your kids that she those are your responsibilities to make sure they straight ma'am they can't take care of themselves when they little children your kids are still little. Your kids are not that old. Your oldest child is 10 years old. Girl, Olivia, do better because, girl, you're a fucking mess. With no problem, not even caring because they're my kids. I take pride in taking care of my children. They were taken from me. I didn't give them up. You need to go to jail today. Okay, I never left them. I never got rid of them. I never ran from my responsibilities. I was always 10 toes down in my responsibilities. So with that being said, that's false. I'm not a deadbeat. I'm sorry. I don't care how people want to slice it, dice it. It's not what it is. Stop it. Get some help. It's just not what it is. So anyway, with that being said, I just want to explain that because it's funny how people <laughs> are sitting around, pay your child support. You take my kids away from me. I'm a stay-at-home mom. You take my kids away from me. And and then you're like, pay your child support. But I'm not working. And pretty much a lot of people played a part in me being demonetized. Or maybe they didn't play a part in it. And maybe my channel just got demonetized. Who delusional. Delusional, delusional. You won't take accountability for nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. And still not for sure, you know, or what could be possibly true or not. Olivia, she just, oh, Lord, that, that brain of hers, boy, it's, it's clear up there. It's clear in our damn face. But for whatever reasons, my channel's demonetized and I'm not making money anymore. Anyway, with that being said, there is a chance that I might go to jail tomorrow. Yep, there's a chance I might go to jail tomorrow. How do I feel about it? I feel like it's counterproductive. <laughs> Very counterproductive. It's to teach me a lesson. Okay, cool. Uh, And it's not because she ain't learned the lesson in all this time. She ain't gonna never learn it. But you're not teaching me a lesson. If I can't do it, I can't do it. Um, I still take care of my kids. I still pick them up every chance I get. I still am there physically, financially. Because don't get it twisted. I pay for everything when they're here. What is there to get twisted about? You got to feed them when they with you. And then if you want to buy them something, say it's shit. And when they with you, say it's, you, you got to buy them something too. It is what it is. These are just part of being uh, a mother. Part of the motherly duties is providing for the children. So stop making a big deal out of that because this is what you're supposed to do. You're a mom. I pay for a three-bedroom roof over their head. Um, they have their own rooms, everything furnished. You feel me? So I still pay for my kids. 
first of all, that's not paying for your kids. And second of all, you moved back to Florida, leaving your kids behind per usual. You came back to Texas because you knew your ass was going to have to face that judge and uh, see what's popping with that. So you figure, oh, let me move back to Texas just in time so they won't notice that, oh, I don't live in the state with the kids anymore, so it's showing kind of like mm, a little abandonment, you know what I mean? So, uh, miss me with the bullshit, Olivia. Come on, them kids got their own room. Girl, you got a three-bedroom motherfucking apartment, and you already got their room fixed up for them two big girls. Uh, They sharing a room together. Uh, A baby bed is not going to fit up in that little motherfucker. Uh, Over there in the boys' room, it ain't one bed over there, so Christian's supposed to have his own room. Now, where the hell do your mammy sleep at? On the couch? Uh, On the floor? On the car? In the car? Where she sleep? Because that apartment is not big enough for y'all. And probably when they all are there at the same damn time, it's probably crowded, hectic, chaotic, annoying, overwhelming, all kind of shit. So, girl, stop the cap. You got a place to live for you, your mama, and your and your two clear kids that you take care of every day. Well, at least one of them. You take care of one of them. So stop all that bullshit about a a big place for your kids. You still provide for your kids. No. When you was in Florida in that damn uh, small-ass motherfucking apartment that you was in, the last one, girl, please, that motherfucker wasn't big enough for y'all because guess what? It was my two rooms in that motherfucker, and your mama had the other one. So why your mama ain't got no room this time? Them kids do not stay with you full-time, ma'am. They only come to your house every other weekend. You so dumb and stupid, you don't request to get more time with them. You like it just the way it is. And you definitely, wait till till it kick in about them activities that she don't participate in. Don't go check on them. Don't see their progress or, you know, what they doing in their spare time. Nothing. She not going to do all that, but she want to brag on her motherfucking car being pretty. But uh, can your your car within, you know, can it withstand uh, moving around and traveling and going to different places? Going to check on your children? Big dummy. Just like when he wasn't paying me child support and I had them under my roof, I wasn't getting child support. Was he a deadbeat? Girl, come on. You ain't even got to lie. You know that motherfucking man was paying you child support. At one time, that man was paying child support in two damn states. Come on, Olivia. Girl, stop, stop the cap. Please. Oh, okay. Anyway. Um... But yeah, I might go to jail. I'm praying that I don't. I hope I don't because I don't want to leave this little girl. You know, I have two. I have an infant and a toddler. The two people that mean the world to you is Kai Kai and uh, Lil AJ. You know, AJ, he matters now since everybody can see his face. At first, she didn't give a fuck about him. Okay? Sis was not feeling him. That's why he got treated like the uh, stepchild in the motherfucking family. Okay? And plus, I don't want to be away from my other kids either. Girl, you get zero fucks about them kids. First of all, them kids ain't been in been in your long term ter- long term care in a in a minute, and you wouldn't even be you bitch. You'll be tired of them. You'll be putting on for the motherfucking cameras, bitch. You'll be tired of them because you're not you're not used to these new kids right here. Because see, this Ger- Gerard and Antonisha kids, they're not your kids no more. So it's just like you babysitting for them. You giving them a break. Why you talking your little high shit? So we're hoping that that doesn't happen. Could it happen? Yes. Am I prepared mentally if it happens? Yes. Am I prepared financially if it happens? Yes. Everything is prepared. The lies. There you go. That happens. But we don't want it to happen. (laughs) Okay. Because like I said, it's kind of counterproductive to the whole situation. It doesn't, it doesn't help me get a job. It doesn't help me pay child support. That It doesn't help the situation at all. It just... Maybe that's what you need, some fire up under your big ass. You probably need that judge to get on your ass and tell you you got to seek some type of employment or something. You know, make you get on out there in that workforce. Force your ass on out there in the workforce because, you know, you in Texas. So, you know, you just deal with your local uh workforce of Texas uh, little agency. Go there, sign up, and uh, let the motherfuckers... Uh, 
put you on a uh, how to um you know network get you a job get get you some job training they'll do all that shit for to help your ass get you up off they motherfucking shit and to get your ass to move because you know they don't like giving you food stamps and all that shit anyway they want your ass to work for them mofo so yeah she would have to give up all that she would have to give up give up her house wife type lifestyle since she said she's a stay at home mom yo she would have to give up all of that takes me further out of my kids won't be able to see me they'll miss me they'll wonder why i'm not picking them up this baby won't have her mommy aj won't have his mommy oh trust me your kids gonna know where the fuck you at because guess what your uh they daddy gonna sit down and talk to them have a decent conversation with them and let them know where you at <laughs> girl get the fuck out of here and uh who gonna have the two clear pink uh babies that would be stella the great stella gonna be sitting around there she already you already grooming her that's why every time you see her up in them videos you see her in the background sitting on that couch holding that motherfucking baby because uh she ain't got nothing going on in her busted up life either the system's fucked in my opinion uh yeah it sucks because did nothing go in your favor because you wasn't doing right by the system the kids None of that shit. So that's why you so agitated, bitch, because then nothing went the way you thought it was gonna go. But um, we'll see. Like I said, I'm praying that that doesn't happen, but it could happen, you know. At this point, I'm making this video and I'm pretty much laying it all on the line just so I can like get it out. Girl, you ain't laying shit out on no table, girl. You laying your lies out there in a narrative that you try to spin. Girl, you ain't put nothing all out there. Everything that you just open your mouth and mention, baby, people already know what's going on, been knowing what's going on, and you know it. Your life is for the public. I want to, like, say this so I feel better about the situation. I don't think it will happen, but just in case, you know, hope for the best, prepare for the worst. Wait, mama. Uh-uh, don't you do it. Uh-uh, we don't want to speak to no uh, baby clear pink. Uh-uh, no. Get our clear pink ass off the screen. No. What happened? What happened, booty boo? Oh, you want some booby? She wants some booby. I'm currently breastfeeding her. You need to make up your mind. Is you going to breastfeed this girl or just give her this regular uh formula? Because what are you breastfeeding up for? And you saying you think you're going to jail and you're going to go the next day. And you're going to put on the titty. If you've been giving her the bottle all these days, why don't you just keep giving the bottle to her? You don't want to breastfeed her, ma'am. So stop hanging on to breastfeeding your kid when you really don't want to do it. Because you would not give her no formula if you was full-time breastfeeding that little girl. Liv does shit for, for simply for the cameras because this shit is ludicrous. So, like I said, I hope it doesn't happen for her sake, for all of my kids' sake, for my sake, for my mother's sake, for everybody's sake. It's just counterproductive, as I said before. It's not going to help him get any more any money from me. If anything, it's going to slow down the process. And that's what your dirty ass wanted to do, slow down the process. Like I said, it's funny how when she had them kids, she was getting child support in two damn states. And now, she don't even want to pay him child support towards helping those children. Gerard like type person, he'll spend his money on his motherfucking kids. Olivia not going to do that. Olivia be thinking about herself. She don't spend money on her children. She get on the internet, she throw virtual baby showers so she can get everything for her baby so she know how to spend there. Then with the bigger kids, she just take them to dollar damn dollar stores or to the motherfucking Salvation Army to get used shit. Liv is a cheap ass, scamming ass bitch. But we'll see you guys. I'm a G, and either way, I'm gonna be okay. I just want what's best for my kids. That's all I wanted from the jump. And my kids deserve to have their mommy. My kids deserve to have both parents. She want to put that camera on them titties so motherfucking bad so people can see her breastfeeding that little girl so fucking bad. Because they're the best kids in the world. Seriously. Best kids in the world. Including you, okay? I'm talking about you too. But, yeah.
that's what Liv is going through. Liv is going through a lot. And to me, this is all so unnecessary and so ridiculous and so crazy and so crazy. But it happens. It's the world we live in. And like I said before, this is what I'm going through. So just pray for me. Hopefully it doesn't happen. Like I said, if you guys are seeing this sooner than later, then obviously I'm not in jail. But I'm living, I'm, I have to go go through life thinking, am I going to get locked up for not paying for something that I was paying for all along? I've always financially took care of my kids. <sighs> But if I'm not making it, how can I pay it? So anyway, I talked to my lawyer today and it was a good conversation, but there's still that possibility. So I'm just preparing myself. What's up, baby? Okay, he ran to his room <laughs> where my mom is. Child, that's the end of the video. See, she wasn't doing hard enough but sitting laying up there with that titty up in uh baby clear pink mouth and AJ back there hollering per usual. You heard what she said that he's probably uh uh up in his room with Stella. <laughs> up in his room with Stella. I thought all her kids had their own room. I thought that room was Christian room. So oh, his room. So it's not AJ room when Christian is there, but when Christian gone, it go back to being AJ room, I guess. But um, try to send it a ratchet, dumbass video. Tell me how y'all feel about Liv going to jail. Y'all think she lied? She telling the truth. I think she knew what she was going to, what was going down when she go to court. Liv trying to stall that shit out because Liv don't want to pay Gerard no motherfucking money. That's all that is. So she want to keep doing all this bullshit and going back and forth to court because she knows it's probably costing him every time he go. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never do no uh, child support type shit in my life. But um, Liv is a, a special person, baby. Her and wine glass, the things that they do, child, they special. I ain't going to even lie to you. They are very special. But uh, that's all I got for Liv's life, child. Um, I'll be back with another video. I don't know which one of these moms I'm going to do next, but uh, I got some shit coming up. But anywho, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And I'm going to see y'all in the next video. Peace out.